hello to all my south african people welcome back again to the channel so today's video i'm going to be sharing a couple of videos with you all to watch a lot of people think south africa is just xenophobic you know they think oh when you go to south africa you are not safe these people are xenophobic they attack all africans in their country they do not want to see africans but it is actually not true let's watch this video guys the minute you talk about south africa sometimes the only thing that comes to mind is xenophobia mm. but people do not appreciate that every single almost every single restaurant in south africa is stuffed by zimbabweans okay almost every single hair salon is stuffed by Ghanaians. uh and then you look at academic academia most of the professors the engineers are from other countries mm. how do we begin to tell a story that says actually yes there are those challenges but actually south africa is built on the backdrop of doctors from the drc okay. who are servicing south africans in those hospitals mm -hmm. this built on the skills of academics uh from uh, uh nigeria who are literally bringing intellectual power mm. into South African universities. And for as long as we are not telling those stories, but we are only telling those stories of what's not working about Africa, we are then breeding a new generation of Africans who do not know what could potentially work about Africa. Then you are also bringing a, an opportunity for the, the leaders of Africa to continue to ignore the potential of this continent because people are not telling the stories that are positive about this continent they're condoning any okay because must remember let's not forget xenophobia can be traced back across the african continent oh, yeah, give yeah. me a country and i can point it out and i'll even tell you the region mm. to look at mm. but yet south africa has been painted at the top mm. Mm. and this is done through mainstream media which is the same platform that will tell you south africa is xenophobic it's the most unequal country in the world it has the highest crime rate in the world it has the highest unemployment rate in the world but yet the western the world are moving into south africa how are you moving into the, the system? system yeah, the system that you condemn, and yet that you're still moving into the system. Understand. Yeah. So they've clearly painted South Africa a specific way, and until you've been into South Africa and you understand the struggles of South Africa, mm. taking into consideration that we are only 30 years old, mm. we have an un one of the highest unemployment yeah. rates in the world. Yeah, unemployment, yeah, that so when they are fighting, like you said, um, with another African brother, it's not because I'm fighting because I do not want you here. It's because I probably look at you and you're driving a Mercedes Benz and I go to my house and I don't know what my children are going to eat. Mm, mm, Do you mm. understand? So hence I appreciated the fact that you said, can Africans be a bit more sympathetic to all Africans mm. when you go into an African country mm. and understand that, yes, there's external problems, but internal affairs is a major thing. As much as, yes, I hear the part of I'm sympathizing mm -hmm. and stuff. How, how then do we get to the point where let's say host countries will become a bit diplomatic mm -hmm. and also a bit open to the people understanding that, yes, for example, are you South Africa because we're here? Mm -hmm. well, now you, I know you'll come back again from this. Fine. Yeah. Are you South Africa because we're here? Saying the system, I understand as a Nigerian that the pie is very small. Yeah. My wife works in the system of South Africa. I work in the same system of and I know too well that the pie is very small to go around the whole blacks mm. in this very particular country. I'm not even talking about the foreigners. Mm. But how do we get to the point where we begin to conscientize our minds and say, okay, fine, as much as these guys, they are here, which mm. is us, the foreigners, we also need to be a bit, lack of better word, lenient to them to understand that maybe these guys are mirrors and there's certain things that they know mm. because they are not in the system of apartheid and so they can see something outside better than we do. Oh, how do we then begin to conscientize our people to get to that point? And I need you as a South African. To help me address that very particular narrative, but if I say it, you born me. You left. You left Nigeria when? Um, I've been actively involved in the African system in and out for fifteen years thus far. And you left Nigeria why? So I tell people point blank, it's not because I was chased out of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Number one, okay, now I'm into ministry and stuff. It's not because I was called into South Africa to come and open the church here or to do this thing. It was just number one love. <laughs> I was like Romeo, <laughs> for Julie, who agreed to die. Simply because I am going there. My friend. To me, I do not think South Africans are xenophobic. They are just trying to protect their country. Every citizen want to be a patriotic person in their country. You know, when you are patriotic enough, you want to protect the interests of the people of your country, and that is what I think South Africans are doing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever I post amazing content see your favorite girl tando see you guys in the next one bye